Hello everybody and welcome back to the Clem Bat channel where we play a game and talk about anything MMA related. Today what we're going to be talking about is Colby Covington and Colby Covington's next fight because the UFC has been working on a fight with Colby Covington and Colby Covington. The news just broke out that he is ready for a fight. So who's he going to fight? How do the matchups look? I'm excited for it. And I think who Colby Covington should fight is pretty obvious. I know we have people like Chael Sonnen talking and like pushing for him to get straight back into a title shot. But re realistically, he lost Usman twice, hasn't won a fight since. So the first time at least he beat Masvidal after that, right? So it, it was kind of like you could throw him back into a title shot. But you you definitely can't throw him back into a title shot right now. He needs to beat a top five contender. So I think the easiest matchup for him is that probably what's going to be is Hamza Shemaev because I think he should take on the winner of Hamza Shemaev and Nate Diaz. And I feel like there's a general consensus around the MMA community right now talking about like, hey, this is probably what we should be doing because I think Hamza Shemaev and he's well, he's like a minus 1300 for a <laughs> favorite for a reason right now, right? I, I count fighters. I, I always like talk about not counting out fighters, but for this one, I'm totally counting out Nate Diaz. I think he's at the end of his career and Hamza Shemaev is just has the style to do it. The dude is bigger than some middleweights, and Nate Diaz is a, not even a big welterweight. He's a lightweight, honestly. Like, that guy fits perfectly in the lightweight. So, I'm kind of looking at it as, like, somebody who could potentially be a middleweight versus a lightweight. That that fight is not even going to be close. So, I think Hamza Shemaev is going to win that fight. Easily, he's going to be ready to go. So, when Colby Covington's ready for a fight, because I don't see Hamza taking any amount of damage whatsoever, I think you should pair those two up, and then who, the winner of that should fight the winner of Leon Edwards and Kamar Usman. And how I see that going is I think Leon Edwards is actually going to be Kamar Usman again. I don't think that fight it's going to be like the first one where Leon just has a big comeback at the end. I, I wholeheartedly believe the elevation was a huge problem, and I think the rematch is going to look like somewhat how we saw the first round of their fight go, where it's like, it was still competitive, but we saw Leon take over in round one. He, he like, he, he handily won round one. So this is my prediction right now. We're going to have Hamza versus Diaz. Hamza's going to just destroy him, okay? Now, and then after that, he's not going to have any damage whatsoever, so we're going to pair him up with Colby Covington, which is a fight that Colby Covington would take, by the way, because uh, he's like a big name. It's something you could throw in a main event. Maybe, maybe for an interim because we don't know how long Kamar Usman's going to be out for, and that's what I'm going to talk about in just a second. So, anyways, that's something you can put a main event, and that's a favorable matchup for Colby Covington. And Colby Covington can get in a main event spot, so he can get the spotlight. It'll have incentive to sign it. And again, like I just said, favorable matchup. I think Colby Covington will actually beat. Hamzat Shemaev, because, like, don't get me wrong, it could go either way, Hamzat has some serious power, but man, Covington took some bombs off of Usman, and it's like, the second, in the second fight, when he got dropped, it, like, woke him up, and he fought way harder, I don't think Hamzat Shemaev would be able to, like, deal with the pace that Colby Covington was able to put on, especially if he gets cranked and wake, wakes up, just like he did in the second fight, because, man, did he put on a pace, so I think those two are gonna really, like, fight it out, they're having a really, really good fight, it'll end up to a decision, Colby Covington takes the win there, Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman, God knows how long that'll take, because both those guys will have a ton of damage, right, and who may Maybe, who knows, maybe Coley Covington actually will go through that next surgery and then he'll have be off for a little bit while longer. So early next year, we have Kamaru Usman, Leon Edwards, they fight, Leon wins again. Then we actually have a potential Colby Covington versus Leon Edwards matchup, and I know I'm looking way too far into the future here, but that's my prediction on where everything's going to go, honestly. I think, but to talk about who Colby Covington should fight next, I think it is single-handedly, like 100% should be the winner of Hamza Shemaya versus Nate Diaz. That fight makes perfect sense, and it was like, finally, we're getting the top guys to fight each other. I'm so glad Colby Covington's taking another fight, and I can't wait to see what happens. I hope Gilbert Burns takes on Masvidal and they get that fight done, but Masvidal's being a little bit of like, you know, he's being Masvidal. <laughs> so, regardless, I would love to know you guys think down below who do you think Colby Covington would fight next and what do you think about my prediction for the welterweight division I think it's a pretty spot-on prediction to be honest with you but guys thank you so much for watching again as always let me know down below thank you again for watching I'll see you in the next one take care